working on a 2002 Ford Explorer with a 4.0 liter engine. Customer complaint is a check engine light. So let me take you to this cantle, see what kind of faults we have. Codes. And we are going to do the key on engine off self test. And you're going to hear some clicking. That one was pretty loud. All right. And what I want to focus on what I want to focus on is this P1400 delta pressure feedback EGR DPFE circuit low voltage. All right, so I'm just under my guided component tests, uh, some component information on this DPFE sensor. Uh, DPFE GR sensor has two exhaust pressure inlets that monitor pressure drop across a fixed orifice that exhaust gas flows through. The DPFE GR sensor mounts or measures the actual pressure drop across the metering orifice and relays a proportional voltage signal, zero to five volts to the PCM. The PCM uses this signal to optimize EGR operation and to monitor EGR for OBD2 regulations. The PCM uses this feedback signal to correct for any errors in achieving the desired EGR flow. So it is a three pin connector, three pin sensor. Um, there is a five volt reference, a ground from the computer and the signal wire. And a little bit of info right there. Key on engine off, normal voltage, normal signal is around 1.0 uh, volts. So let's go to some data pids and see what our voltage is. So I'm at the main menu and I'm going to go to data display, emissions. Our DPFE voltage 0.19 uh, key on engine off says it should be around 1 volt so right there is our problem <clears throat> the computer seeing 0.19 volts 0.18 volts So right here is my DPFE sensor. I'm back probed on this signal wire. And voltage we have. It's 0.24. Computer seeing 0 0.19, 0 0.2, close enough. So this is a three pin sensor and what I'm going to do, make sure we have our five volt reference and a ground and then I'm going to do a test and force this EGR valve open and we're going to watch this signal on the scan tool and go from there. So right now going to keep you focused on the scan tool. I'm going to go to my other pins, do our voltage checks on this sensor. It's taking this pin, going over to my 5 volt reference. See our 5 volt reference is good. And the center pin is our ground. 0 0.05, I'm okay with that. Back to our signal wire, 0 0.24. All right, so right now this DPFE voltage is 0 0.18, 0 0.19. This is a zero to five volt signal. Um, our guided component information told us it should be one volt. Key on engine off. That's what we are right now, seeing this 0 0.19 key on engine off. And with EGR, I believe wide open it should be up around four, four and a half, five volts. 
So what we're going to do is force this EGR open and watch this signal and see what we have. Okay, so this EGR vacuum regulator is a duty cycle controlled vacuum solenoid regulated by the PCM. As duty cycle increases, vacuum to the EGR valve increases. It is a two pin sensor, EVR signal and ignition. So we have an ignition feed on pin two, which means this is going to be a ground side switch solenoid. So what I'm going to do is back probe the control wire on the solenoid and energize it with my test light while watching this DPFE signal voltage. So right here, this connector right here, my EGR solenoid. Here's my EGR valve right here. It is vacuum controlled through the solenoid. And what I want to do is using my test light, give this solenoid a ground, force the EGR open while watching this DPFE signal voltage on the scan tool. Uh, with the EGR valve open, we want to see, I'm thinking four to five volts, four and a half volts, somewhere out there. So, on to the test. All right, so I have my connector unplugged for my EGR solenoid. I'm just trying to identify which one is my feed and which one is my control. This is a ground side switch solenoid. So what I'm looking for is the side that does not have the power on it. So right here, I'm back probe. If I touch it, I have my test light to ground. Test light lights, that is my feed. Let me back that up. See the light lighting? That is my feed. And if I swap this over, Nothing on this side, this is my control side. So what I'm going to do, run the engine, give this solenoid a ground, and we should be able to watch this DPFE voltage rise. I just want to show you guys all I'm doing back here. Got my test light connected to ground. I'm just touching on this control wire for this EGR solenoid. It's pulling a vacuum on the EGR valve, opening the EGR valve. That's all I'm doing, touching on this control wire, giving it a ground to energize this solenoid. So I'll keep you focused on the scan tool. So, Right now I'm back probed on the control side of my EGR solenoid. When I energize this solenoid through my test light, I give it a ground. This voltage should rise. The engine may want to stall. Just gonna energize this solenoid. Here the engine wants to stall. See what we got there on the scan tool. Half a volt. It's not what we want to see. We want to see maybe about four and a half, four volts. You can hear the engine want to stall right there. That tells me my EGR is working. And what we need to do, one more check on this signal wire from this DPFE sensor. All right, so after our test, the EGR solenoid being energized, you can see that our DPFE voltage did not rise. We were getting about half a volt there. Um, we wanna do one more check. There's one more concern, possibly a 
broken signal wire and open in the wire between this DPFE sensor and the computer and really simple of a check is we are just going to unplug this and there should be a bias voltage on this signal wire coming from the computer so I'm going to unplug this I'm going to keep you focused on the scan tool and if we have 5 volts that tells me my wiring integrity is okay my computer is okay and what we need is a sensor our voltage right now 0.19 sensor plugged in still let me get the sensor unplugged sensor unplugged 5 volts from the computer what's that say wiring's good computer's good needs a DPFE sensor pretty easy one good test so I'm not sure if I'll be able to show you an after I don't have a part here I don't know if they're going to want to fix it but EGR test testing the solenoid testing the sensor, testing the valve sensor plug back in, there's our voltage shorted DPFE sensor